I got no heat in the store, they say. My water temperature is off, obviously my boiler is off. But, my pump is running. Let's get up there and see what it's doing. And that's it right there. Here's what I'm looking at. What is this? A manual reset? Alright, I, I killed that switch. Maybe that's what needs to be reset. It says it's normal, but I don't have any, uh, I don't got no flame. Now I'm gonna see if my pressure switch is working. I've got a purple white stripe, orange white stripe, and then I've also got those wires coming over here. So here's my orange white stripe, I think. And my purple white stripe comes into here. We'll call that number three. But I want to make sure that that's the right wire. So I'm going to pull that apart and run ohms. And so my purple wire is good, but my orange wire with the white stripe comes right here and it, then it goes back. So I've got to see what that, that wire does. It's doing something behind here, so I'm going to take the cover off. Alright, so i got another pressure switch on this side, so... I'm guessing that when this fan turns on, both pressure switches have to close. Alright, so i got no diagram. So, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this thing back on and see what these pressure switches are doing. Before I do that, though, right now they should be normally open pressure switches. Okay, my fan's on now. The switch here should be closed. It's not. Look at that. Not closed. Okay, that's that one. Switch not closing. So I got a bad switch over there, or not a bad switch, a switch not closing. So I'm gonna check to see what this one does. And then I got this third one over here that is closing. The fan just shut off, so. Okay, maybe that one's a normally closed. I think it is. I think that one is a normally closed because that's a that's an AM6120, this is an AM6121, I'm just guessing. And you see where they're located, the switches, or the terminals right there on that one. That terminal that's right there in the middle is towards the back. This terminal right there is towards the front. I think that one is supposed to be um, closed all the time. And then this one right here is a 6121. Also, normally open, let's see. This is the little hose that pulls a tiny little vacuum through that switch. You can check it, you know, by sucking on it. Or in this case, pushing on it. Pull the cover off and aha, look what I found. A freaking igniter. Here's what's on the agenda now. We're gonna check that for voltage, for high voltage. Perhaps this one needs to also be working. Now I don't have a spade connector with me or anything right now, so just to make it easy on me it might be harder and it might seem more complicated to you but maybe not so that I don't got to run back downstairs I am gonna pull these pull these wires right through here you see so I can close the circuit 
and I'm gonna go right here on this spare unused terminal. I'll borrow it for just a minute. All right, so now my switch is closed. That circuit's closed. That circuit's open. Okay, now we should get voltage. My resistance here is 85 ohms. I guess we'll see if that... I don't want to pull it out. See, so you can pull it out, you could break it. And if I break it, well, then, I, then it's broken. It was there. Okay, we're bypassed and we're, we're turning back on. We're testing. Give it a second. Wait for it. Oh, there it is. Ignition. All right, let's see if we can make this thing fire up with the safeties temporarily bypassed. Let's see if we pull current on it. If it pulls current, then it, we know it's working. Okay, here's what I think. I think that my cover needs to be on because this is a positive airflow, it's pushing air into it. So with that said, these fans are gonna push the gas into the chamber and that could be why it didn't ignite. So now I know my igniter's working. I can take that off and I can put my cover back on and I can try again. Of course, all these freaking holes are stripped every last one of them except the ones in the middle all stripped and i got the cover on so I'm, I'm gonna see if it ignites let's see so now i know i'm pushing the gas into the chambers It'd be nice if it starts I don't, I don't think it did. Or maybe it did. Oh, it did. It started now. It's Oh, it's on. Good. Fantastic. So, the door's got to be on. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's on. So, now my store's going to get some, some heat, right? Right. This. There, I put that on so that the the, 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 the the fumes don't go get sucked back into the damn motors there. Let's go look at the water temperature. more on that cover. I need to get that cover with all the screws. I need all the screws to be holding so that it gets a good seal. Now you see this right here? That kind of shit's a big problem. It's a big problem with my uh, my air pressure. I've got to have air pressure in there. These damn screws just falling out like that. Or not, you know, sealing tight, that's a problem. Oh yeah, I can feel all the pressure coming out here, man. That's no good. That's a leak. Let's see, what does that say? Huh. <laughs> nah, it's still cold as hell in here. Yeah. Like, gotta be like 60. Luckily, I got my my bucket of all kinds of weird screws, different shapes and sizes from my garage with me, so that's awesome. So I got new screws all around it, all right, and that fixed that aspect of it, but I still didn't have it working. So I pulled these out, 
and as soon as I pulled those out this other light came on which that light was on a little bit ago when I had them bypassed and, uh, and it fired up so I'm gonna go wash these and reinstall them and then put this thing back together So I put it all back together with those uh, screws and uh, also cleaned out the, those filters that I showed you and got it back on. It's done. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. This spoiler just needed a little bit of maintenance and they do need filters so I'm going to recommend that. Later.